drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel in the next five seconds if you guys want Clombos to return in Season 2. Fortnite Season 3 is getting closer and closer with our final update of Season 2, Chapter 3 dropping on Tuesday. I have all of the exclusive updates for you guys from new Season 3 Battle Pass skins, the new Season 2 Life events, new weapons, map changes, and much more. So make sure you guys are watching to the very end of the video because you definitely do not want to miss out on all of these new updates. But 78.8% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. So make sure you guys do hit that big red subscribe button down below to help me reach 1 million subscribers before the end of the season. And remember, I do get 5 subscribers every single day. To people who do, drop a like on the video, turn on all notifications, and leave a comment with the epic ID down below. And remember, if you guys are picking up anything from today's item shop for yourself, please look at the these in my sport credit code, Apple1. It literally takes 1 second to put into the item shop, and it is the best way to support me that extra mile. Hope you guys do go and enjoy the video though, but let's get into it. So first off, we're talking about map changes. The Seven have just defeated the Imagined Order over at Tilted Towers, destroying the blimp, making it crash into Loot Lake, which means the first stage of the live event has just begun, and we'll be talking about that a bit later on in the video. But a new Battle Bus funding station is now live over at Tilted Towers as well. So make sure you guys are putting all your gold in here, because this is the final Battle Bus station that we're going to be seeing this season. But now there is only one blimp left for the Imagined Order, and that is over at Command Cavern, where the live event will take place. But we already know much more than you realize. This season's live event will have a new Doomsday device in it as Jonesy talks about the Imagined Order already having one in development that was said in the Resistance Week 6 challenges and also now in the Week 8 challenges the Origin makes you find this weird energy by Loot Lake which is actually the energy from the Zero Point and the Origin does sound worried about it. But with the IO getting pushed all the way back to Command Cavern, Dr. Sloan will be moving locations to this little port on the other side of the lake very very soon which will most likely be happening on Tuesday's up Update. And if you guys did see in the Marvel comics, she was also holding a Zapatron, which looks like this will be getting added into the live event somehow, and also coming as a new mythic weapon next season, which is going to be crazy, bro. The Zapatron is finally coming into the game again. We've only ever seen it once, and it looks like it will be Dr. Sloan's new mythic weapon, which is going to, it's going to be crazy. I can't lie, I'm very excited for it. So be on the lookout for a brand new live event countdown appearing very soon in game and in the lobby, which I am super, super hyped for. But talking about new weapons, there is a new shotgun in the works that is just like the primal shotgun and I imagine it will be a seven theme as we are fighting on the same side as them and we already have imagined order weapons in the game so we are just waiting for some seven weapons and this will have eight bullets and a magazine it reloads two bullets at a time and takes six seconds for a full reload it shoots two bullets at a time which is ridiculous with a fire rate of 0.85 seconds that is faster than the striker and the pump shotgun and a common deals 54 damage 75 damage for a headshot and the legendary deals 66 damage with a 95 headshot damage per bullet and obviously we're shooting two bullets at once so next season this shotgun is probably going to be one of the most overpowered guns that Fortnite has ever brung into the game in a very very long time because if you guys do remember the primal shotgun was extremely overpowered as well so expect a new shotgun coming next update maybe even with some other guns with a seven theme as well which I actually cannot wait for in this chapter each season they've added a new first person weapon season one they they introduced the Mark 7 Assault Rifle, which was super, super overpowered. And this season, the Org Rifle. So next season, we could be getting another first-person weapon, maybe a shotgun. I don't know how I'd feel about a first-person shotgun, I can't lie. But I tell you what, I would like to see a first-person submachine gun. I think that would be absolutely amazing. Let me know in the comment section below what first-person weapon you'd like to see in Fortnite Season 3. I think, personally, a first-person submachine gun would be an amazing weapon. We then have a new Burst Rifle coming to the game that does have a 5 point five fire rate two times faster than the org assault rifle which is going to be extremely broken a three to 3.6 second reload time depending on the rarity 33 bullets in a magazine and shoots three bullets at once obviously the org assault rifle only shoots two at a time so this is going to be much better 18 damage on a common rarity 27 headshot 22 damage on a legendary and a 33 headshot per bullet obviously we're shooting three bullets at once so this gun is going to absolutely melt i'm very excited for the new Burst assault rifle to come into the game and also the brand new shotgun both releasing possibly next season but if you guys do remember a long time ago fortnite were on about attachments obviously we've got the 
first person attachment, but we could be seeing these attachments get added into next season as well, which actually we'd really like to see. We could get some more magazines, possibly holding more ammo, faster fire rate magazines, maybe even fire magazines. I think it'd be pretty cool. More barrels, more sights, stocks, silencers. I think it'd be pretty cool. Making any gun first person, making any gun a silencer, like a silent shotgun, I think would be absolutely amazing. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys would like to see weapon attachments getting added into chapter 3, season 3. I think it would be pretty cool, bro. I can't lie, it would be absolutely amazing. But Fortnite are also working on a new biome area called Daisy, which does have a slurp heal effect, just like Slurpee Swamp, which might just be like Loot Lake. At the end of season 6 in chapter 1, this was a nice peaceful location when the queue blew up, so we could be getting a location like this somewhere on the island after the Doomsday device goes off for the live event. So be on the lookout for a new biome getting added onto the Fortnite Chapter 3 island very, very soon called Daisy, which I think is going to be really, really nice POI. But now it's time to go over all of the Battle Pass skins for next season. Next season, we'll run into Summer, which means we'll be getting a load of Summer skins in the Battle Pass and obviously some new collab skins that I cannot wait to share with you guys. A new skin survey did release a few days ago where we usually get at least one or two skins from these surveys in the Battle Passes. So we could be expecting at least one of these skins next season, which I would love to see this Purple Knight skin. I'm not going to lie, this skin has been in the surveys since the very first one, and it is amazing. It looks absolutely nuts. Recently, we did just get the Omega Knight skin, which was also in the very first skin survey. So we could possibly be seeing the Purple Knight skin come out as a new skin in next season's Battle Pass, which I think would look so, so sick. But obviously, next season is coming towards summer, so we'll definitely be seeing some summer theme skins. And these two skins in the survey could could be implemented in next season's battle pass somewhere as well come with a summer raz skin that looks nuts i can't lie this skin looks so so sick and a summer goth skin that looks like he's lost some weight so we could be seeing these two summer skins come out next season but there are also leaks about a brand new peely skin coming out as well which means we could finally be getting the summer peely skin come out which i honestly can't wait for bro this peely skin is going to be very very cool to come into the game so let me know in the comment section below if you guys would like to see summer raz summer guff or Summer Peely in next season's Battle Pass, possibly also seeing the Purple Knight skin. But in the files, there are also some 7th century skins that are labeled as usable skins. So we will be able to use these 7th century skins very, very soon. And these are also customizable. You guys can change the color of them and you can also change some other things of them. So we might be seeing another Maya skin from Chapter 2, Season 2, if you guys do remember. This is a fully customizable skin where we could be getting a fully customizable 7th century skin next season, which I think would be pretty cool bro we haven't had a customizable cosmetic in a very very long time so this skin would be very very cool prisoner jonesy should finally be releasing next season as he was originally seen in the chapter 2 finale event then seen again in the brand new marvel comics leaked last season with a brand new style that looks awesome and then seen again in the season 2 trailer so it's obvious he will be coming out as a skin very very soon or else they wouldn't keep putting him in, in the trailers and things like that which honestly i cannot wait for this skin bro it would probably be one of my favorite favorite battle pass skins ever it looks absolutely crazy but for our tier 100 skin next season it's looking to be Darth Vader he was accidentally leaked in the Unreal Engine 5 trailer showing his file name saying chapter 3 season 3 Vader and then a few hours later he was confirmed to be coming in next season's battle pass alongside coming with a mythic boss which means he will be dropping his mythic Darth Vader lightsaber which is actually going to be so so sick so let me know in the comment section below if you guys are excited for the Darth Vader skin coming out next season and he will possibly be coming with a brand new style as well so make sure you guys are dropping a like if you guys are excited for next season's battle pass because it is going to be an absolutely crazy one but if Darth Vader is coming out next season as a boss he will also be needing his own POI and yes it finally looks like the Daily Bugle will be going next season getting replaced with Mustafar's castle aka Darth Vader's home as in the films it is out of volcano planet and the Daily Bugle is in the volcano from the chapter one island so when Mustafar does come back. I expect the volcano to be live and active again, which is going to be so, so sick. So keep an eye out for Mustafar coming over at the Daily Bugle next season with Darth Vader being the boss over there. Also coming with his mythic lightsaber, which I imagine is going to be very, very overpowered. But that is everything we're talking about in today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Remember, if you guys are around here, make sure you guys do hit that big red subscribe button for me as next season is going to be a very, very big one. A load of new weapons, amazing battle pass skins, some crazy map changes. So make sure you guys are subscribing. And 
And remember, if you guys are picking up anything from today's item shop for yourself, please do consider using my support credit code Apple One. It literally takes one second to put into the item shop, and it is the best way to support the channel that extra mile. Hope you guys did enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.